Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. Hello, I hope you are all doing well. So today we are going to look at another topic which is related to Windows series. So what we are going to do is we are going to look at um, how we can change evaluation version of Windows um, to standard or data center evaluation. Currently, if you look over here, I have this Windows Server 2019 standard evaluation, which has 180 days remaining. Of course, I have built it for tutorial. So first thing what we would need to do in order to do this, uh, we would need to run command prompt as administrator. Once we have done that, we have to determine our addition of Windows, which we are running. Though it is written over here, but there is a there is a command which we can use, of course, to do that. So first of all, what we are going to do is we are going to get into that thing. So we are going to check for our Windows current addition. All right. So we need to get our current addition. All right. So if you look over here, you can see from here also that it has current addition server standard evaluation, which is there. So the next step which we are going to do is we are going to list the addition that we can convert this machine into. There could be a possibility that this can be converted into data center also, right? So we are going to use same command almost just with target additions. And then we are going to get the addition that can be targeted. So if you look over here, we can target standard and server data center, both additions in this case. So the next step is to convert your windows to addition you want right so in order to do that first thing what you need to have is the key which will help you to convert your server into respective addition of course you need to have standard or uh, data center addition of the key so what i'm going to use is over here i'm going to use a command which will help me to convert my system into standard addition all right when i say set addition i have capability to change it to server standard or data center of course based on this thing so what i can do is i can just copy this let's say over here all right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to change my product key let's say all right I'll of course um, blur this area because of licensing but you will paste your key over here after that you will type accept and use a license agreement command and then you will press enter it would take little time what it would do it would start converting your evaluation version into standard version it would basically change all the respective uh, things which are at the back end to the version which you have specified uh, you can see this information in the logs in windows uh, folder of c in c drive uh, if there are any errors or anything of course um, that would be a really helpful area to look at but this process could take two to five minutes or sometimes eight minutes in order to convert your evaluation version into standard version. So we'll just wait for it. I'm going to pause this video over here and then we will continue afterwards. Yeah, so if you look over here, now our process is completed and you can see over here that finish updating components and 
starting to apply addition specific settings, finished applying addition specific settings, and now we would need to reboot this machine. So it's a simple process, of course, we will reboot it and wait for it to come back. Right, so we are back with the server now. Let's log in. And now you can see that evaluation symbol is gone. And if you want, you can come over here in system. And we can verify from here also. So it has changed it to standard edition. And if you want, you can also, of course, run the DICM command again to check if this is still in the evaluation edition or it's already converted. You see now it shows current edition is server edition. There is no evaluation over here. Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. Please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you were looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.